I'm now going to show you the area clearance toolpath. If I just click here under toolpaths, here you can see this is the create area clearance toolpath. So I'm just going to select that and what we have here are the circle that we created earlier and offset it and then created the block copy rotate just to create an array of the circle. So I'm just going to press Control A just to select all of the vectors. The finished depth of this particular part is going to be 5mm. It's going to machine inside the vectors. This is to create a chocolate mould. So I'm going to add a tool to this and I'm going to use a 12mm end mill just to rough this out. I'll change the step down to 2.5mm so it completes this in two cuts and I'll click calculate now. Now you can see the toolpath on the inside for the 12mm end mill. I'm just going to close the 2D area clearance and I'm going to create another one this time I'm using a smaller cutter a 1.5mm end mill the step down is 1.5mm and the finished depth again is going to be 5mm and I'll click calculate now and there we have the 1.5mm machined on the inside if I just go into my 3D view here you can see all of the toolpaths I'm going to just simulate all of these toolpaths now. Now you can see there's the rougher and there's the one and a half mil M mil. Just finishing that off there. And there we have our chocolate mould. I'm just going to delete this simulation now. As you can see, if I just zoom in on the one toolpath, it's used a 12 mil M mil to rough this out. And then it's created a finishing toolpath at one and a half mil, but it's also cutting over the part that we have already roughed out. So this could be a little bit of a waste of time. So what I'm going to suggest to do is to upgrade to a module called Advanced Profiling. And in the next video, I'm going to show you this exact same thing again, but it will allow me to add two tools to the first area clearance so I can create some leftover machining.